Okay, everybody. So as is often the case, um, as we deal with our various uh, software situations, we need to figure out uh, before we can do this week's before you can do this week's assignment. If you want to do it on your own computer, you're going to need to install Beautiful Soup. Um, so just to show you what the documentation for Beautiful Soup uh, page looks like, I'm just going to go search Beautiful Soup Python. And it seems kind of funny, but yes, the, uh, the domain is called crummy.com. <laughs> um, and the version that we're going to be using is Beautiful Soup 4. And so um, if you just click on the documentation here, it gives you some examples and descriptions of how this is used. Obviously, we're going over these in class and, um, and they're in your... Um, they're in the videos. Um, so this is where it lives and where the description of what Beautiful Soup can do lives. However, um, fortunately there's a much easy, there's a, there's a very easy way to install this and so I ask all of you who are interested in working with this on your own computers to try this uh, tonight so that if there are any issues we can try to troubleshoot them as quickly as possible. Um, but the thing that you're going to do, uh, the easiest way to do this if you've already had, you should have Aptana installed, right, is you're going to go to the spotlight and I want you to um, type in the word terminal. And when you do that, you should get something that looks a little bit like this. Um, this is the so-called command line interface to your, uh, to your computer. So um, it shows everything but just in text, right? So ls is the list command, and if I hit enter, um, it's going to show me everything inside my username. Um, but what you should be able to do is use something called the sudo command. Um, now again, this is just uh, a command that's available uh, through, through the command line and I believe that the command we're looking for here is going to be sudo easy underscore install beautiful soup 4. And if you hit enter, it's going to ask you for the password. So this is going to be your administrative path, administrator password. Right? And that should actually get you all set up. Um, especially if you've configured, if you had configured your version of Aptana manually and pointed it to where your Python install was. Um, that should do it. Um, and so when you go to complete this week's assignments, uh, the from BS4 import beautiful soup should, should give you no problem. But again, ask that you guys give this a shot sooner rather than later so that if there are any issues, uh, we can troubleshoot them as quickly as possible. Um, so now I should be able to go into Aptana and not have any problem with my import beautiful soup. All right, looking forward to seeing all your assignments this week.